guys, my name is Sub-Zero Extabyte and today I am here with a good friend of mine his name is Chip, Chip is a bit shy so he won't talk much but that is okay because today we got a lot of things to do. So let's get rolling, today we are gone do something really fun. We are going to make some elevators you know why well don't you hate staircases I do a lot so from now on people I will never use a staircase again I will only use elevators and if they don't have them well then I will just make one it is really easy. You don't believe me right well hold up sub will show you because sub is a nice guy. So to start off with you need a platform like this. See it is not that hard after this you just make a long pillar with the number of levels you want and that's it. You see nothing special. You can call me an elevator engineer I will help you with your elevator problem. No problem at all my friend. This forest to my left and to my right are both kind of looking really interesting which is really great since I don't know which forest I should go into but I guess I will just kind of chill and I will just take some stuff that is going to help me through the dark times. Just this tab that my homie Mo has made and it is called the Withers tab and you probably already kind of guessed what it does it is a sheep wait what no my homie Mo is not a sheep. But as thing the tab thing is a spawnless and you can take whatever you want out of that entire tab and I will guarantee you that it is going to be really lit, just like this fire I am spreading right now. I kind of feel like a rapper, but I mean sometimes you have got to have some lightning as well. My other homie from the skies yes his name is Thor and he has a hammer and he also has like lightning right? Yes, I believe so, but he hasn't got nothing on my things. Then we also have some really cool skulls that shoot for some reason. I don't know why if you just let go of these things that they go flying and they just bomb the things that they hit but I guess it is kind of amazing how they do that so that is just fantastic isn't it? Yes, I think that is really fantastic and now we are spitting some more fire like who is the most lit rapper in these live scenes right now? Well I don't really know that is everyone's own opinion. If you even like to listen to rap, I am open for every kind of music but rap is kind of cool and all of the cool kids listen to it so it must be lit, right? Yes, that is right. But anyways like who is the most lit rapper at this moment? Let me know in the comments below are you done? Oh, hold on yes okay you must be done right now. So you have placed your comment of the most lit rapper in these live times and who is really cool yes so. He isn't got nothing on my fire as well. I am spitting fire left and right. No sub you replaced that thing for some other stuff in your Motab thing. The sword and the really cool sword that throws these heads as well. Oh wait it is the same sword. Yes that is what I am saying. My homie Mo really did an amazing job on making this thing and I think that he just nailed the tab and it is just overall really amazing. If you hold the sword you even get all kinds of cool thing. So. I think that he really deserves the little shout out. So he also put some more like fire things in here and I think that it is just amazing like you have a tornado. Guess what that does? Yes it is a tornado and it is absolutely reckless. No just kidding I haven't yet tried it out. But we have just spawned a 3 times 3 headed wither which is kind of like triple the dangerous and he is breaking things left and right. But the sword will break him left and right and since he is stuck in a tree, the dumb thing. I can just really easily kill him. But we also have some fire that we can throw, yes that is right not spit but throw. It is throwing really big snowballs and it looks like the wither is getting seriously damaged, which is good because I don't like that three headed creature, I mean it is kind of a cool thing, but not if he wants to kill you since he is like really strong. But like now we are going to find a really cool thing which is kind of his weak spot or something I don't know and he doesn't know either. And then we can spawn some other things like some more fire and some other things left and right at his head. Oh what is that my man's has got three heads. Well I have got triple the brain. And that is what it is all about isn't it? Yes it is but that said people are you seeing all the elevators standing next to each other this is looking kind of weird but at the same time it looks really cool. I wonder where they go to all separated rooms or just one big place there is only one way to figure out and that is by blowing everything to pieces no I am kidding bros we are going to use all of them one by one and see where they will lead us. Oh boy oh boy I am getting hyped up which one should we use first my start from the left one. But the second one does look interesting I don't know why but number 2 is my favorite number so that is why we should take number 2 or should we stick to the main plan and go from left to right I have no idea so much choices. 
Chip which one do you want? I think he wants the second one. Yes people we are going to use the second one first. I have got a good feeling about that one. I really do. You know what would have been the best thing to do if we had breaching squads because we have no idea what is down there. Maybe diamonds, maybe mobs and if there are mobs we will have to fight them back in their house. But for now we are okay. I think this is the golden room. A lot of gold. I will have call in a team after the video to come down here and harvest this place. We will need all of this gold in our bank so we could buy more warriors and things that we need for our city. Yes, I am such a good leader thinking of my people with everything that I do. You know this place is comes really familiar for me but I have no idea from where. Oh wait I remember I think yes that is right remember when I was on the moon yes this place is looks like a bit like that. I will tell you a small story about the moon well it is kind of long so but prepare yourself it is really interesting, for now let's just concentrate on getting this bad boy into the air and onto the moon. We will feel like Neil Armstrong, a great step for the mankind and a good leap for all of the humanities. We should be good to go with the rocket filled up and all of the other things look to be in order. Let's leave this world, it is shaking so much, why is it doing that? I guess we will never know. Just a couple seconds more and we are off into the Milky Way, I am ready to go rocket. It. Let's go whenever you feel like going. I am just preparing myself to take this flight. As you may hear from my voice I am pretty nervous to what is going to happen. Wait it felt like we just took off with our ship. Would it not be nice if we could turn on the radio in this thing? Too bad there is not a radio. But what are we going to do while we are on this journey? I think I am going to tell all of you a story that happened to me a couple of years ago. The year was 1998. I was on a ship. A ship that flies like this one. It was a rocket ship. It was only a lot bigger than this ship. Me and my crew were told there was a lot of gold in a ship that only appears when there is a full moon. The day was the first day of Easter, just like today. There was a full moon and we were all prepared to board that particular ship. We were searching for a couple of hours without any luck. But after a couple more hours the call was made that the spotter had seen a pair of rocket sails in the distance. Our captain of the ship had a quick look and confirmed it was the ship that we were looking for. We needed to gain some speed so we raised all of the sails. It felt like we were warping trough time for some reason. We were going so fast. It was just unreal. We lost the enemy ship for a while when we had the option to go to a couple of different directions. We found the ship again and decided it was best to gain even more speed to catch up with the ship that contained the gold. We got closer and we went in for a look to know what the ship's name was. It was the ship we were looking for. We were loading up the cannons on the port side and we were gathering to confirm the plan. The captain told us we were going to shoot at around 500 feet. We did just that and the ship tried to flee. We quickly catched up and shot shot it down near the coast of a random planet in the middle of the Milky Way. The crew of the enemy ship ran onto the forest on the planet with all their guns and possessions, including all of that gold. The setup camp and sent out recon troops to spot if my crew were going in for the gold. But we were smarter than that. After a few days we decided that it was best that we went in. We took the escape pods and safely got to the floor. We saw some enemies on the planet but they did not see us bouncing around just yet. We got out of our escape pods and onto our next way of transportation. That was the moon cart, a handy type of car that is built to ride around on the moon. It has a satellite and some pretty lit wheels. It only has one seat and we admired it for a bit. There were a lot of creatures on that planet, creatures that had to be taken down to get to the gold. I suddenly got hungry for some waffles. I looked for waffles in my inventory but I could not find any waffles. But even though I was very hungry I stopped the urge to eat. I was still hungry but I was going to fight for me food men. I whipped out a diamond sword to hunt down some space creepers. Maybe they taste like waffles. Darn it now I am hungry again. Do you see how they have little backpacks on their backs? That is one of the cutest things I have ever seen. And I have seen some cute things. I have seen a baby hedgehog in my time. Have you seen a baby hedgehog in your time? No I did not think so my mate. Look at those teeny tiny jetpacks that they are wearing. There are even skeletons that are wearing the cute jetpacks. Let's hunt them down just for some good fun. Let's return to the escape pod first though because maybe we can make something out of the darn thing. We cannot live in it or do anything else because it is too tiny to sleep in. We have to destroy it for greater purposes. What is that we just got? Is that just the rocket that we took to get here in the first place? Well it is nice to have it I guess. I still feel hungry for some kills maybe we can see some creatures over there. Oh my god. 
Do you see this as well? These spiders also have the backpacks that I think are cute. Co Kalinko? I think not. These backpacks help the creatures to get around. Just like Sandy the Squirrel in SpongeBob, they also have these astronaut helmets. If you enjoyed watching SpongeBob Man, comment down below something near the lines of Sandy riding that big fudging worm in that one episode. Maybe we can find that worm today on the moon. I think the moon has to has worms because why would the moon not have worms? That just does not make any sense to me in my mind. Why am I thinking about worms when I can think about waffles and feel a lot better than that I'm thinking about worms? Would worms not look cute with these jetpacks? Let's not go back to the car just yet. I want to make some more kills. I am now a hunter on the moon. People here call me the moon hunter because I hunt on the moon. If you hunt on the moon you are a moon hunter. That is just how life is. Could it be that I was hunting just for fun? I did not feel anything when I was slashing zombies in half. It felt good, but it was time to upgrade. Let's whip out a bow and arrow and kill some creepers from a distance. Could I craft such a backpack that these clowns are wearing? Maybe if I shoot and kill them long enough one will drop its jetpack and I can just fly away. If we just 360 some spider right here right now that should look good for the video. Maybe I could send this video to the FaZe Clan so they can all offer me a tryout to be a trick shooter. Would being a trick shooter be fun? I don't know lol why are you asking me? Look at me look how pro I am killing all of these creatures right here. If you are not there you are square. That is what my mama told me when I was just a little boy. I was always there but I did become square. Maybe it's just because I live in a Minecraft world and I am walking on the moon right now. Looks like a zombie dropped some rotten flesh. Let's not eat that because it will probably taste like poop. Not many people like the taste of poop. I personally like the taste of waffles. Give me a waffle and I am a happy man. Look at me bunny hopping around. I am such a pro bunny hopper that they should give me an award for being the best bunny hopper that is currently alive. If I am a bunny I should have a tiny jetpack as well. Have you ever seen that one picture where a bunny is wearing a little yellow backpack? I think that is one of the cutest things I have ever seen in my entire life. Let's just armor up only this time not as a bunny and with a backpack but we need some serious armor that is going to protect us from all of these jetpacking creatures that are living here on the moon. Do you see how cool I look in all of this black armor? I look like a knight that lived back in the day. I think I want to go back to the earth right now because I think I have seen enough teeny tiny jetpacks strapped onto moon monsters. If I build a platform real quick right here right meow. I should be good to go back to planet earth. But we cannot do something crazy like that just yet. We have to build some kind of mark that we can prove that we were here once. Just like countries in real life do with a flag we are going to do that with a wooden outpost. Not a crazy fancy outpost but just a little wooden shack where we can just chill for a bit. We also should put up a sign so everyone knows that we were actually the architects of the shack. I would like to live here because it looks very nice and warm up here. I have not seen any signs of water just yet. So so I should pack some when I get back to Earth and when I am ready to return to planet Moon. I would like to take some Coca-Cola glasses with me and some Pepsi bottles because I don't give a darn about all of that. But if I do not have any water I cannot build the pool that I wanted in the first place. If you have a pool you can cool off in the water on hot days. Rich people have pools and they look very cool. If I could have a pool here on the moon I would really be a baller. I do not have any neighbors or friends to share the pool with but I could chill in my pool with spiders when it is not night. The spiders should be friendly then even when they still look scary. But I will build that pool one day. When I have a pool I want to have have it nice and warm so it would not be cold because no one likes cold water inside a pool. Hold on we cannot build a pool yet. The first step to getting a pool on a planet without any other astronauts to share the planet with, is build a flag to mark your territory. When you do that you have claimed a piece of land and you now have a place to build your pool. The sad thing is that I can probably not even build a pool because I don't see any water anywhere around us. But now people as you have seen the elevators are not trusty so we will have blown them up with explosion a lot of them. There was this one great leader that said this, sometimes you need to lose a battle to win a war. And that is what I am doing here I am destroying all of the elevators of the big war that is coming. Yes ladies and gentlemen we are going to attend an elevator war it's called the war of the elevators where people build their elevators and then start shooting on each other while 
The elevator is moving. I have never saw something like that but I will soon enough. Maybe I might record it for you guys if it is possible but yes as you can see everything is almost gone and destroyed so we don't need to worry about any random elevators anymore. They are dangerous I will spread the word that people shouldn't choose every elevator that they see because as you have seen in this video Chip and I almost died and if that would have happened I would have destroyed every elevator in the world of Minecraft but that isn't the case for now. People it is getting time to end this video we are running out of time. For now I say goodbye. Thank you.